On today's video, I'm going to share with you the three core principles, the underlying principles that every web design has and can either make or break the website. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, what is up? My name is Ron Segal. You know, when I was just starting out as a web designer, I could really recognize easily, pretty easily, what a good web design is, but I was trying to do it myself. I always struggled. And I realized now that it was because I didn't understand the underlying principle of what it takes you know, to do, to design a good website. I thought it was, oh, they have this beautiful illustration or they have this beautiful image, but it's not that because a website can be actually a bad website even if it has an amazing illustration on it. So today I want to cover these three principles and the three principles are the navigation, the hierarchy, and the use of color. We're going to break these down with examples. I'm going to show you how this works well and how this can actually ruin the web design. So let's start to break it down. By the way, if you're new here on the channel and you're excited about design, web design, and freelancing, make sure that you are subscribed and we have a free web design course that covers all of these principles in depth. Now let's break it down in and check this out. So here's a website. This is a lawyer's website. And the, the first principle that we want to talk about is the navigation. So I'm going into this website and I actually just looking at it. And remember, one thing that's core to remember is that most people will leave the website within the first 15 seconds if they don't understand if this website is for them. Now, I'm trying to see what this website has in it, right? So it's a lawyer's website, but what do they have on this website? And the honest truth is I don't know because everything is actually hidden here under the menu. If I'm going to click this, I'm going to see, first of all, I'm going to see this contact form. But if I look here on the left, I'll see a lot of stuff, right? So there's about the firm. I can click that and see underneath and then meet the team practice area. All this stuff is really, really important to me because that would help me understand if they can even help me with the stuff that I need help with, assuming that I need a lawyer. Now, they've made this really, really hard for me to find, right? I have to go here and click the menu just to explore what's on this website and then go here and click again just to understand what their practice area is. So they've made it really, really hard on me. And then if I end up clicking or getting to another uh, page on the website, I'm not easily sure like where actually am I on this website and how do I get back or how do I see what else is on the website? So in this case, the navigation is actually hidden and makes it hard for me to understand what's on the website and how to navigate to different places on the website. And again, if this is a barrier for me, I'm going to leave this website super, super quick. So I will show you a different web design, uh, a website of a lawyer firm. And here, this is very, very simple, right? You you have the navigation here as you would expect at the top. This is something that we, we normally see in web design. And because they have a lot of things here, you can see that when I'm hovering one of them, they're showing me actually a lot more information. So in this case, it's really easy to, first of all, see in a glance what they're offering on this website, what kind of contents are in this website. And I don't even have to click. I can just hover with my mouse and I can really see pretty easily who they're helping, what their services are. So without much you know, hard work, I can really quickly see if this is for me and then I can each actually click and get there super, super fast. And no matter where I am on the website, again, I have access to this. Now note that I went over to a different page and I get here the, I can actually see this as part of expertise competition, all right? So it's very easy and clear to see where you are on the website, even after you've moved to a different page. And when I'm scrolling down here, they even have this navigation is kind of a sticky. Now, this isn't a must, but it does help me to um, navigate quickly if I need to go back into the home page or if I need to move to a different page. So this is the first principle, but again, it's a super, super critical um, principle, the principle of easy to see and understand navigation in your website. Whatever, whether you are having one page or three pages or 20 pages, it's still super important to know what content your website has. Let's talk about the second principle, which is hierarchy. Hierarchy basically means what do I see first? What grabs my attention first? Where is my attention goes to as, as a, you know, as a user? 
Now I'm going here. Now the, the problem with what's going on here in terms of hierarchy is that everything is trying to be too big. Everything is like grab trying to grab as much attention as possible. So obviously we have this huge San Francisco family low attorney. This is huge. The buttons are huge and they're using colors to try to grab my attention, requests, you know, consultation or read testimonials. The logo is actually huge. And they're putting in here the, you know, a big phone number and a big menu button. So everything tries to grab my attention. And what happens when everything tries to grab your attention? Basically it means nothing grabs your attention because you're just overwhelmed, right? So let's move into the good website. And here there's very, very clear hierarchy. Even if I remove this pop-up here, it's very clear that the only thing that you look at um, when you get started with is the exceptional outcomes. They're kind of line, um, value proposition. And then you can, you know, your eyes probably moves down to the, to the subtext where you can read a little bit more about themselves. And as a third, you know, the third hierarchy might be explore possibilities where you can, you know, move down into the next section. And all these, the logos, all everything here in the, you know, the navigation section is very, very small not to try to distract you. Now, one more thing that contributes to the mess that we see here and the, the lack of hierarchies is a little bit of lack of contrast, right? So because the image in the background here is pretty bright, it's also grabbing our attention. So the image is grabbing our attention while the text grabs our attention there's just too much going on here but here even though they have a moving video in the background they took the time to add kind of this black overlay which makes sure that no matter what's in the background even if there is white here in the background there's enough contrast that the text still stands up and the the, the video is more of a background than actually trying to grab your attention now what we're talking here in the hierarchies we did kind of look at the top of the website but it's also very you know as you move along you still have hierarchies everywhere right so imagine we're scrolling here san francisco this is obviously um you know the first hierarchy but then instead of going here and starting to read the text this whole area of you know just logo and navigation or phone number still grabs your attention more than this so this is a little bit again the wrong way to look at it here if i'm scrolling down here you can see that now what's grabbing my attention here is probably this headline and then how can we help you and then the different expertise or if i'm scrolling here then i have this title and then these um, blog posts to look at so the navigating the the user's attention with good clear hierarchy is super crucial throughout the website and this is really a huge differentiator between a great website and a crappy website. The last principle that I want to cover is the principle of how do you use color, right? So if we're trying to look at what colors they're actually using here, so obviously white, white is a color that they chose. And the, the other colors that they're using is this orange color and this purplish color, okay? Now, I want to talk about how they're using this color. So usually there's a few principles that you can use color for. Of course, you can use it to communicate emotion or, or kind of a brand identity, but also it has in web design some functional, you know, functional uh, things to it. it. It denotes if something is, you know, is working or is a button or is clickable. It, it, it tells you what is more important than something else. But with this choice of color here with both you know the orange and the purple I'm not really sure what's the difference between them right and a lot of times when you'll have um, I'm used to understand that if a, a text is in a color it's usually a link now here it's not the case okay one more thing that is problematic again with the colors here is that they're very actually similar to the background so instead of having a good contrast so the buttons will pop and that I'll be able to see them they're actually kind of uh, blending in with the background especially you know the purple uh, or blue and orange on one another they're not a good a very good combination here and so here again I, I think that orange text should be a link it's actually not a link um, and they're just using this color here look check this out this I'm pretty sure this is a link because it's a color it's not but the black the black color is actually a link so this is just a very very confusing use of color and as I've mentioned 
and you can see it here, like the the orange on the purple, it doesn't create a good contrast. It's not a, a great color combination. It just creates a lot of confusion. If I'll take a look here, here, obviously, again, they're using white as a color, and they're only using one color, which is the orange one, but they're making sure that, oh, first of all, here, as you would expect, everything that is a color is also a link, right? So this is a link. These things here are links. Um, and here, again, they're, they're creating kind of a typographic hierarchy, but also this is also a link. So here, they're only using one color, but they're always using it with a good contrast and good kind of functionality to it. It's not confusing me. It just helps uh, to stand out and... Uh, yeah, and explain what's what's going to happen if you click something, right? So I hope this helped you kind of break down and understand these three core principles, the navigation, the hierarchy, <laughs> and the color. And this will help you kind of look when you judge other websites, but also when you're designing your own website, clearly to think about, am I using these principles correctly? or not. As I've mentioned, we do have a full-on free intro to web design course. So I'll, I'll add the playlist below this video. Watch these videos where we break down these principles and many others in more depth. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.